In many cases with motion graphics, you'll be starting from Illustrator art. So it'll be art created in Adobe Illustrator for print graphics, and you're going to need to repurpose that in 3D. So I want to just lead you through the process of correctly exporting an Adobe Illustrator file so that 3ds Max will be able to read it. So I'm going to start from scratch actually here and make a new print document. And I'm just going to make it an 8.5 by 11. I'll just choose to make it a landscape format and click OK. And I'm just going to create a piece of text. And I'll just make that a lot larger, 120 points. And just so that it will have some interest to it, I'll also create an ellipse around it. And of course, I don't want to have that solid, so I can just make that a stroke rather than a fill. Okay, so I've got a piece of art, and it's actually got text. It's type here within Illustrator. But 3ds Max won't be able to recognize this, so it's got to be converted to outlines. So there's a command, type create outlines, or shift control O. And now that type's been converted to outlines. Now 3ds Max will only recognize those paths, those outlines. It won't recognize any fills or textures or any kind of gradients or anything in your file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and export this. I'll save it. So File, Save, and I'm actually going to save it into a special location, which is on my desktop. I've got my exercise files, and 3ds Max is going to look for this in the Import folder by default. So I'll place it in Import. So this is my current project, Import, and I'll save this out as my logo.ai. When I click Save, Illustrator is going to prompt me for what options I want and what format. The very important thing here is that 3ds Max will not understand an Illustrator file past version 8. So up here on version, I've got to go down here and choose Illustrator 8. And that's crucial because if you forget to do that, then 3ds Max is just going to throw up an error and say, sorry buddy, can't understand your file. So version 8. And it's saying, yes, there's a bunch of limitations. That's fine. And so now that's been exported. And uh, I also want to mention that when this is brought into 3ds Max, it'll be brought in at the same scale as this print document. So in other words, I've got an 8.5 by 11 page. My logo is taking up about 6 inches here. And so in 3ds Max, it'll be about 6 inches wide. And that's how you export out of Adobe Illustrator.